Hello, this is JKK from JKK Mobile and this time I have a Asus EEE PC 4G here with me. So let's go through the device. Here is a standard DVD case. Now it's on top of the EEE and you can see it's just a bit bigger than a DVD case. On the side, same thing, it's like a one and a half CD cases. Uh, if you uh, look at the battery on the on the uh, down on the device, it's just two DVD cases. So, let's go through it. Ethernet port, there is a, um, also a modem port, but it's not in use, it has a plug on it. Uh, one USB Two port, uh, ventilation holes, microphone plug, uh, speaker plug, nothing on the front, SD card slot, and as you can see, SD card goes all the way in, which is good. Two more USB ports, VGA out, Kensington lock. Let's go down here, and you can see the battery over here, this is the standard 4-cell battery and the power plug port on the back and here's also the slot for uh, RAM, so you can access this RAM slot and upgrade it it from uh, 512 to uh, 1 gigabyte or 2 gigabytes okay, then let's open it so we have a uh, mouse, uh, it's it's a Synaptics mouse, really good. Uh, there's mouse buttons, uh, right, left, uh, full query keyboard, it's small but everything is, is there just like they should be. Then we have the 7 inch 840 screen and the webcam and the power plug. So let's fire it on. It's it has been on standby now, so you can see how fast it comes on standby. So, as you can see, it's it's okay now, and uh, and it's uh, connecting to Wi-Fi. Now we are connected to Wi-Fi, and uh, let's launch the browser to see how it works. Uh, as on my post, uh, I'm saying that this is uh, with XP. Uh, I of course bought this uh, with Linux but uh, here I'm showing you how good it is with XP this is XP Pro and uh, so far I've been really enjoying showing it with it it's, it's working fine uh, the installation was really easy uh, the Asus CD ha had all the necessary drivers so it's just a basic installation of uh, XP and then the drivers works flawlessly so um, on using this device uh, it's small uh, it's even smaller you think uh, I've, I've, I've seen the videos I've played with the many uh, UMPCs and mobile computers but still because this is a normal laptop uh, design it feels smaller than it, need, uh, than it is and it's really uh, feeling light so really really small of course the screen is small too and the resolution is small but actually I like the resolution as uh, when I'm using it on the on the desk uh, everything is bigger uh, on this uh, resolution so I can clear clearly see what I'm doing so uh, I think it's okay for this uh, computer and of course uh, as we're talking about uh, super low price device uh, this cost uh, under four hundred dollars, so it's just perfect uh, on on that light. So as I'm showing this with XP, I have to show you uh, how stuff works in XP. So uh, like uh, in Linux, uh, Asus has all these shortcuts with FN key and uh, and function keys and they're all working exactly the same in uh, in Windows environment so let's increase the 
brightness and the same software window comes and uh, we can see how much brighter it goes or, or how much uh, dimmer it goes and actually the screen is really nice uh, bright and, and clear really uh, enjoy using it same goes of course with the uh, with the volume is to change Wi-Fi on off uh, external monitor and uh, you can even launch the uh, uh, task manager from the from the key combination uh, as I'm talking about keys uh, I have to say that I really like uh, this keyboard it's same keyboard as uh, some two to three thousand dollar devices like uh, Flybook and uh, Fujitsu 1610 so it's quality keyboard you can really uh, feel all your strikes you, it's it's always uh, you know that now I press it it's there of course it's small so uh, typing with ten fingers might be impossible but that's not the way I type any case so if I type uh, my way it's like uh, using only a uh, few uh, fingers at a time and uh, and typing like this uh, works perfectly like this okay let's close some browser windows the installation base is uh, is uh, about two gigabytes so so uh, as the hard drive or, or the SSD drive is only Four gigabytes. There is not much room for for uh, software files. So, uh, if you have been thinking about using XP on on this device, you you really have to understand that there is not that much room. But of course, you can uh, buy uh, decent size uh, SD cards uh, to uh, store your files or use uh, external USB drives. Uh, I don't need that that much uh, storage space because uh, all my stuff like email and uh, and uh, most of my uh, file accesses everything is uh, online so this is uh, 4 gigabytes is just just okay for me. Uh, now even this is stated uh, that it has a nine, 900 megahertz uh, Celeron processor, it's actually running uh, 630. So let's open some windows for you to see how how it handles stuff. So let's open mul multiple multiple windows and you can see how it's working. Let's as you can see, it's opening them fine. Again, going from an application to another works just fine. Hopefully, you can see actually. And uh, there's no no uh, delays on that. Of of course, uh, it's all down to the software you need to use. Uh, but for me, this has been perfect. And of course. Uh, the good thing about uh, restricting the the hard drive, uh, the CPU to 600 is that it it's really it's it's not that warm as as typical UMPs. This is really you can feel it's warm, but it doesn't get uh, hot like uh, other devices. And also the battery life, it's great. It's three three and a half hours easily, uh, even four uh, if I. Uh, put the screen a bit down or, or don't use the Wi-Fi but surfing screen up uh, really uh, pushing it it's it's a uh, easy 3.5 hours uh, and uh, soon there sh should be a six cell battery available so then it's even better actually I have, I have a picture of the six cell on my side but uh, it, it's exactly like this one over here but it it has the two more cells here, so it's it's it will actually just uh, make the device just like 10 mil millimeters bigger. So it it might be a good buy if you need more battery life. 
the quality. Uh, sorry, I zoom out a bit. The quality in overall, in the software, drivers, uh, uh, on the plastics, everything, it feels really good. Everything works, no strange voices, no soft spots, everything is solid. Uh, it feels really good. Uh, on the software side, all the drivers seem to be working fine, all the, all the ASUS uh, access software works fine. Wi-Fi comes on and off when I want, and uh, and uh, no problems on that. And also, the using the external screen is also enjoyable. Let's plug this one in and uh, tilt the cam a bit. So FN F5, and we have now the. We should now have the external screen. Yep, here it is. Let's make some. Yep, now it's there. And this screen is. Uh, can you see? Hopefully, you can see something. But uh, this is running, running. Uh, the resolution of the screen is. Uh, 1280 to 1024 and uh, it's performing fine really really nicely and of course I can I can also swap it to uh, both screens now it's a clone mode so now actually the external screen is uh, is uh, 800 to 480 as as the LCD which might be okay for some use and then extended so now the now I have extended uh, the desktop so let's open another browser window and, and throw that there so now you can see they are it's extended so there's a different thing on a, on a different screen works flawlessly also really easy to swap and then let's go back to the LCD only works and of course in presentation it's it's all also good and the placement of the cable is also good uh, easier easier for presentations I've been I've been really okay with that so in overall this is really really good value for money four hundred dollars you get a lot you get quality you get small compact device the actually uh, the Linux part is, is I think it's okay it's not for me but uh, but maybe it's okay for you and you can install XP, XP you can install office you can increase the uh, storage space uh, space by uh, SD card really really good device there is some flaws of course as uh, as uh, any device, there is some minor stuff. Uh, one thing which I don't like is uh, uh, how the mouse is done. So when you use the mouse, you actually have to push it straight down because there's small, uh, small um, uh, pads down at the mouse uh, mouse uh, buttons. And if you if you try to use it like this with a thumb and press from from the from the corner it doesn't work you have to press down not like this okay and the second thing if you put the screen like this it doesn't stay up anymore so it should be balanced a little bit more here because this is now really easily falling down and if it's on your lap it uh, same thing happens if you if you have it have it let's think this is my knee so it it doesn't really stay that way so if I leave it to the table I go faster to the table and just leave it there it <laughs> this happens so you have to always pick the screen up and then leave it somewhere a little bit annoying thing but again for this price for this uh, these features really good. Uh, another 
design flaw uh, on this uh, computer is uh, is really stupid as I told you that the battery life is uh, 3.5 hours but you can see uh, the battery meter actually shows you only only like 10% at the time so it's not accurate at all and sometimes it's it's really uh, annoying because uh, uh, sometimes I uh, one, one time I, I, I was on 10% like an hour of use so it's really not that accurate I, I, I feel that it's more accurate now that I have uh, charged it multiple times but uh, but that start it was really uh, way off and uh, and still what inno annoys me is the the uh, battery meter it should show every percent but no it shows only 10% 10, uh, 10 at the time and it's it's not a good thing but again for one good thing uh, one bad thing there is a lot of good things on this device and uh, one really nice thing is the charger it is this small everything is here so no big cables just a small cable and the charger really easy and uh, comparing that to a normal typical mobile computer UMPC charger you need to have the power brick which is uh, this is a small power brick it's bigger and then of course the the a power cord so brick with a cord and bigger cord compared to this it's a huge difference that's a good thing thank you Asus for this one really good feature on this device is uh, the Wi-Fi. It's really strong. Uh, I have an IBM ThinkPad with a uh, really good Wi-Fi signal, but I think this is even better. Actually, I have to show you the ThinkPad with, uh, with the EEG, so you can really see the size difference. This is a uh, 16, uh, sorry, 15.4 inch screen. Think bad. Let's put the, put the E E E on the middle. So <laughs> there is some difference, I might say. Think bad is huge, and of course the the weight it is uh, is huge compared to the E E E. But actually, they look quite alike. The finish, the feel on the device is quite the same. It's a really good device. Okay, I think uh, it's all for now. Uh, next time something, something uh, else, and uh, you can find me at checkkmobile.com. I think uh, next video will be about uh, Everon because I have been using that for for a few weeks now and. Uh, and maybe some uh, Asus EEPC hacking. See you.